Guys, I'm Monty Monts. Your boy Ronaldo's in the house. And the book of Boba Fett, the whole series. We seen it. All right, guys. So we're getting in, man. It's it's been amazing. Um, I'm gonna get to my confession, my shame in a minute, but I got my man's with me again. Um Ronaldo's back. He's a regular on the show. You already know who he is, man. First of all, how you doing, bro? Man, all is well. All is good. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So let me ask you this, though, man, because first of all, are you a full-on Star Trek? I mean, Star Trek, Lord. See, I'm already messing up. <laughs> Star Wars guy. Like, are you deep into the Star Wars? I enjoy it to say I'm a full-fledged all I can't go that far. I do. I do enjoy it. I probably have seen all, just about every Star Wars. So I like them. I, you know, when they come out, I jump on them. I watch them. But I'm not into all of the merch and all of the, yes. the back storylines and piecing it all together. I follow it, but I, I'm not that deep. No, you know what? I, I'm exactly the same. You know, I'm not... I don't know all the canon and I can't tell you everything that happened in every movie. The thing with me was when the first three movies came out, you know, I was really young. And honestly, it seemed like when I would go to my grandmother's house, the movies was just on, on a loop. Like, <laughs> I don't ever remember like just sitting down to watch like Empire Strike. It was literally always on. So, you know, I just kind of got it. And then when the next set came out, I honestly have not watched all of the newest ones, the new three. I think I've watched one. But, uh, you know, again, I enjoy it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, when I heard of Mandalorian coming out, I was like, okay, you know. I was a little hesitant, honestly. I was like, eh, you know, they're going to just focus on one thing. But then, of course, we all know it blew us away. And so Book of Boba Fett um, came next. The same people made it. You had high, ex high expectations, but you didn't just think they could live up to it. Uh, just because Mandalorian shocked us so much. And as y'all see, my man's on my shirt, young Grogu, the star that stole the show. So let's now go into this, man, because uh, me and Nate got into it in the first half of it. You got to give us your full experience. Front to back, how did you enjoy the whole series? I went in super excited because of Mandalorian. So Mandalorian, <laughs> because it snuck up on us. I didn't go into Mandalorian with such high expectations because it was new. I didn't, I didn't know much about it. So, but then it was so good. It had your expectations high when we seen Boba Fett coming out. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, hey, Boba Fett, you got to get up on it. We, it's coming. We got to watch. <laughs> so I got into it. Now the first two episodes, I was like, okay. They building a story. They went to him back when he got first got captured. He was out with the desert people and stuff. They were they were switching back and forth to now he's away from the desert people. He's starting to go into his own little realm when he took over um, Jabba the Hutt's yeah. um, empire. So I'm like, okay, it's good. Episode three and four came. It started to fall, fall off. It got boring. We we're like, ah. Oh. What is this? This is weak. It's not a lot of action. This ain't nothing like Mandalorian. All right, right, right. Yeah, started to happen. And then they get, they threw Mando in there. And then before I go any further, I have to put this out here. People, quit calling him Baby Yoda. He's grow goo. A whole different person, thousands okay. of years apart. Now, look, let's hold on. I'm so, I'm so glad you just said it. Look, we're going to get back to the rest of your recap. Now, again, so a casual like me that enjoys it, all that. For so long, when it first came out, when you first, you know, you first see my man, yeah. everybody was calling him Baby Yoda. So I'm like, so is that? But I'm like, it don't make sense. I'm like, that don't seem to, like, is there, are we in some kind of time loop? No, people just kind of kept going with it. Again, commercially, it took off. But I would listen to a podcast, and they kept saying Grogu. So I'm, and I was just told, I'm like, right. So is this? But the He's public trained by Luke Skywalker, right? Right. Remember, 
Luke Skywalker, when he was a Jedi, Yoda was thousands of years that's, old. Right. So, so, that's why I kept, it, it really, for me, confused me. And like the super nerds were like, that, that's Grogu. But the public ran with it so much mm -hmm. that baby Yoda really just kind of took over. And that, I'm so glad you said that, man. Like, guys, the little guy on Mandalorian and on Boba Fett, that is Grogu, a whole different being from, <laughs> from Yoda. And I still think some people don't really understand that because they just think they just, you know, see what they see compared to the old ones. So yeah, thank you for that. The way the way that Boba Fett ended, it seemed like they all is a setup for Grogu's show, mm -hmm. his series. Because now he's starting to come into his own. He's he's been trained by Luke. He got some powers. As you well, see, okay, he's okay. And so let, let's so let's let me ask you this too, man. Because we're gonna get to that. First of all, like you said, so. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be honest. Once me and Nate did the recap, it was like three episodes in. Mm -hmm. That fourth episode, I was like, man, they, <laughs> they don't really. And so, um, and then I, I honestly, I was watching every week. I fell off, and then um, when, as soon as I fell off, I believe episode five was the Mando episode, and I already started hearing buzz. And then I seen my man, I saw, I saw, I saw uh Ronaldo's that night. I believe and he was like, man, he's like, it's picking back up. But I said, see, as soon <laughs> as I was about to drop it. Yeah. <clears throat> and so I was, I or that might have been by episode six. I can't remember, but I remember I had to watch a couple to get caught back up. I've never seen a show where you know we've been doing all this boba fett and we just getting this whole backstory of his life. And, He's trying to, you know, run the city now and all that. And then they just take a left turn and we go all the way over to Mando again. And it's a, it ain't like Mando made an appearance. It was a full Mando episode. I've never seen yeah. them. <laughs> I was just like, is this happening? Like, are we really? Well, so much of a, let me come in here and save your show. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Like, people are like, so... I've heard some people call the book of Boba Fett the Mandalorian 2.5. Like we had episode, you know, season two, <laughs> that's like 2.5. Yeah. I've never seen that, but I'm going to tell you, I like that. And this is why I, you know, with all these networks, people got streaming services. Now everybody wants content and it's giving these content creators more freedom. Like the thing I, I told people, I, I wasn't even really caring so much about the full package of WandaVision. I just love that they tried something so off the beaten path, yeah. you know, this whole sitcom thing. And they did like, I thought that was beautiful. And you wouldn't probably see that if you only had like the old school networks and, you know, yeah. no, don't take no chances, give the people what they want. What we're seeing now is the freedom to do really and take some chances. Yeah. And, you know, Disney plus, they just want content. Like they just say, do what y'all want to do. So to literally really two episodes, I Episode five and episode six, basically, pretty much, um, no no Boba Fett in the book of Boba Fett. I thought was I really like that twist. What did you think? By the time like you finished five and then you all the way through most of six, and you don't see no Boba Fett, like what was your mind? What was you think about like that? I honestly began to start to watch the episode. I said, man, let me go. It was like a drag, like. Man, well, I'm I'm determined to watch the whole series, so let me go ahead and see. Cause but at that time I was so stale with it, it was like boring. Yeah. I was, and then you saw him, man. Though he was like, oh, "What's huh?" And he got a a, a lightsaber. Like what? Oh. Yeah, it got good. And then it started to then answer some questions of of what happened to him after all of his his series. Where did he go on to? And yeah, so. No, it, it really did. Um, it, it, it I, I just couldn't believe it. And so then we, um, you know, we went all Mando episode five and then episode six. So, you know, after episode five, I started recapping because since I missed it, people already started speculating, we're going to get some Grogu. And we got, we sure enough got Grogu. And we got another thing we got to talk about. We got the full CGI face Luke uh, Skywalker. Now, 
Yeah. For those that, if you remember, in, in, in season two, Luke makes a quick cameo in Mandalorian season two. And you can tell they've done some of that de-aging thing, but it was, yeah. there's a little, but you know, you was just so shocked to see Luke like, whoa, whoa, this time, I don't know what happened between season two and now, but they've upped it. He looked totally like believable and the de-aging, yeah. I don't know what they're using on that, but it was, you were getting his whole face and he's interacting with Grogu and he's in the training with him. Um, I was just, I was like, well, how are they doing this? The technology is just crazy. It was the same as when they did with Will with the Gemini man when they- Yeah, it was. We've been seeing that more and more where, you know, uh, I even with, I know there's uh, the Irishman, with Robert De Niro and uh, Joe Pesci and they, they de-aged and all that. But yeah. I gotta say, this is as good as I've seen it. Like they may be perfect oh, yeah. now, like, Mark Hamill just looked like he was 22 years old again. Well, with uh, all of these spinoffs, they definitely could because they got enough characters in the Star Wars. Maybe oh, they yeah. could go back and do a young Luke and a young uh, Princess Leia. Show us yeah. their, their backstories when they were separate. Because remember, they was twins, but they was separated when yeah. they were years. I, I, listen, I'm about to say, Billy D. Williams, like, hey, when you when you ready for your boy, <laughs> I'm ready. Like, just let me know, you know, Harrison Ford. It, the game, it really has changed the game now. Like, now you can do whatever you want. Throw extra backstory on the stuff. Let the characters. So, I, that's, I thought that was amazing, too. So, then we get that. We get, in episode six, Mando uh, brings the chain mail for, for young Grogu. And, uh, man, I'm forgetting the name, but Rosario Dawson. She's yeah. like, you know, you probably don't need to run up on him right now because he's in his training. It's going to set him back. So he leaves it, and it's like, man, I thought they was going to, you know, have a moment. And then um, Luke puts before Grogu the challenge, you know, you can go this way with the lightsaber, you know, go all in, or you can go with this chain mail and, and go back and see your people. Basically, I'm, I'm breaking it down. And that was the end of the episode. So come episode seven, and, and again, and I thought episode seven, they brought it all together. And you know, again, I'm sorry, John Favreau. Let me, I, I doubted you a little bit, bro. You obviously know what you're doing because I felt it really did all that backstory with Mando. I mean, with, with, with Boba Fett, then to bring Mando in, it did end up working out. Now, yeah. in episode seven, though, too, man, we had a showdown. Uh, Cad Bane comes on the scene, crispy and clean. Uh, and has a, uh, man, I should have bring up, I don't know why I got my IMDb up. I know it's Timothy Oliphant. Was uh he was in Mandalorian and he's the you know he's kind of the sheriff or or whatever and they have a, a classic showdown and uh, Cad Bane was a joke. What did you think seeing him appear and how did you? I love I loved his look too. Just how did you feel when you saw him walking in uh, from the desert sun? You know, I ne I needed um I needed the bad guy. Um, yeah, I yeah. felt that the villains of Boba Fett wasn't up to par now. Boba Fett and um, Finnis, am I pronouncing her name? His sidekick. Yeah, uh, I think it's yes. Now she, she a killer. She, she ain't no joke. Yeah, she, she was always a beast. She was good in in, um, in Mandalorian. So yeah. they characters, I'm cool with their characters. The villain, the Pike Syndicate, and all of them, they wasn't really no. up to par with. Darth Vader and different ones that was villains of Star Wars that you, you know, cold blooded killers, you know, yeah. what you had the, um, the Sith and different ones back in the days. So this Pike Syndicate was, was pretty soft. You yeah. had the, the, the mayor, the dude with the long head and the fat body and all them, they was, they was some soft, soft adversary. So then when my man came up in the desert, blue face with the, with the horns coming out of the side, the big eyes, and he was just so smooth and cool with it. I was like, yeah, his character was. was it, on. Yeah, that's that's the villain we needed for this. Yeah. Um, and a great showdown there. I mean, he just he he just he was taking names like this guy was really, mm -hmm. um, really sinister. And they, of course, they're they're fighting about the spice and all of that stuff, and mm -hmm. um, you know who's going to take control and things like that. And so it was really great. Um, and I, I, you know, there are some people that kind of criticized the, the last episode. I was really pleased with it. You know, um, Grogu comes on the scene. We get him and Mando back together. The gang's all back together again. 
fighting to kind of uh, save every, you know, save everyone and things like that. Um, Finish, you know, she went back and handled biz with the rest of the syndicate, took those guys out. Overall, now getting to the end of it, it like you say, it was a little rough, you know, them three and four episodes were a little, little long, a little kind of just dry to me, but I was overall very pleased with this. I have to uh, inter- interject this because you said how it all tied together. Yeah. If you look at that last fighting scene, it was two bounty hunters going head up. And yeah. they knew each other in the bounty hunting game. Yeah. Now, yeah. the villain, he had what Boba Fett? Because he still was mm-hmm. bounty yeah. hunter, stone cold killer. And Boba Fett had never been with the Sands people. And learned that fighting style, he never would have. That's never a good point. Won that contest, he yeah. had to go and show him, my man, I got some stuff you don't know nothing about yet. And he pulled out that woo 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 on him. Yeah, that's a good point. He really did, and he and and, and Cad Bane was not not expecting that at he all. Wasn't ready uh, for that? <laughs> yeah, because he even you know they you know they doing some chirping, and I know you, I've known you a long time, blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But that's that's a great point. And again, you needed. That's why you needed them early scenes because it wouldn't mm-hmm. have made sense. Like, mm-hmm. oh, how he is going to flip the script on old boy. And, mm-hmm. you know, again, Johnny Fabs and, and the crew, they knew what they was doing. Uh, you know, we just had to, to stay on the journey with it. Uh, but I, I, I was really pleased with it. I was almost, uh, we talk about villains, um, you know, now one of the great villains in Mandalorian is, of course, Moth Gideon, who was uh, played by um, uh, the great, oh, man, I'm just I'm struggling on names today. Uh, Hold on a second, um, because he's in. He's the bad guy from Breaking Bad, and and uh, Moth Gideon is played um, Giancarlo Esposito. So I was thinking maybe he might show too, but I was like, no, they got to leave a little bit on the table. If you remember from the last um, stuff, I was like, maybe he. I don't know, but I I really, I'm really looking forward then to the next iteration of what they're gonna do. Um, I know next up for Disney. Um, is uh man, I'm sorry, y'all. I usually have my stuff together. Who's th- there's another one about to come out. A new one. They're gonna do a new series with um uh, see if I got it here. Cause I know Dota sent it to me. Yes, there we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, we getting ready for that, you know, so yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So we got the Obi-Wan coming up and, you know, I mean, again, I got high hopes for that now too. I, I, I don't expect again, just with Mandalorian and what they did, the Grogu piece that just threw everybody for loop. I'm not expecting to be that, but you know, I was a little worried for Boba Fett at the start, like, man, there's so much expectation, you know, and it seemed like it was kind of crumbling under the weight. But now that we know that they're willing to just throw anything out there, just give y'all a whole episode, you know what I'm saying? Here, here just here go just a Han Solo episode when he we didn't even know Han Solo was in the mug. They just do anything. Mm-hmm. I got high hopes again for it. So, um, well, give us your overall, man. We usually start with our reels to begin with, but out of five reels, we count half reels as well. What are you giving the book of Boba Fett overall? I had to do a. Solid 3.5. Solid 3.5. I literally have that as well. I got a 3.5. Um, mm-hmm. Overall, again, not, not Mandalorian level, but good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Goals. Um, if you have not seen it and you're watching us, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but go back and watch <laughs> it, stick with it for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know. And, and, it's and, worth and, it. That's worth it. Oh, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth the watch. Definitely worth the watch. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so looking forward to Obi-Wan and then, like I said, because of so many people wanting content, mm-hmm. all the Marvel stuff, all the Disney stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Netflix wants stuff, HBO wants stuff. There's yeah. so many more shows now. And these directors and creators have so much more freedom. So much. And we, like I said, we get to see now twists and turns that I promise mm-hmm. they would have never did something like that. Like, so y'all gonna do a whole new show, but then not have the main character in like two of the episodes, and it's only seven. Ep- you know they never did that, but oh, yeah. this with, is, uh, with streaming, you can do that type of things. You ain't gotta go to the, to the box office and 
promoted and yep, yep. try to sell out the theaters and yep. all of that. Yeah, this the streaming. And, is and the beauty too is that doing it in a series, like there will be, you know, in a movie, it wouldn't make sense to just, you know, you don't just stop a movie for a whole nother movie, but in a series, you can take like, let me just do episode six, yeah, totally different, and then we can come back to it. And that's kind of the freedom of that too. So guys, uh, check it out. We had to do a recap, man. Everybody's talking about it. It's, um, like we said, it's worth the watch. Um, check it out. I mean, shout out again to all those involved and my man, uh, Pablo Pascal, the Mandalorian. I mean, he just, mm-hmm. presence, it's just greatness. It's just, he just, Mando come through, it's all good. Oh, that's true. That's, I was hoping to see my man, Carl Weathers too. You know, I, I remember Carl Weathers from the other one, you know, Mando is, <laughs> I love when you say your boy name like that, but um, thoroughly enjoyed it, man. I give it the equivalent to <laughs> Scotty Pippen running the Bulls and then all of a sudden we see number 45 back on the court. All right. Hey, <laughs> all right okay come on bulls <laughs> yeah like that totally threw me for a loop like wait what mando <laughs> and they giving him a whole episode man like yeah just let him shoot okay cool but uh so guys check us out um of course this is the uh mighty shark network we seen a crew got some new things coming out man got a new show man me and tiff coming back man be stay tuned we got a whole new show we're gonna do as well shareholders is back Appreciate my brother Ronaldo's coming on with me today. Guys, y'all know what to do, man. Share it. Share it, man. Need some subscribers as well, man. Let somebody know, man. If you like the show, we appreciate the likes as well. But be blessed. Stay bring, sharp. Bring trust the playlist back, man. Hey, 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 we get a lot of stuff, bro. I got juggling. I know. Juggling. <laughs> bring it all back, bro. Busy <laughs> on here, but man, I appreciate you, bro. All right, you guys, just stay tuned with us. We got more coming out.